All right, stuffed mushrooms. So we better start with some mushrooms, haven't we? There you are. I've got some nice, uh, nice brown skin chestnut mushrooms there, and for the stuffing, I'm going to use the uh, that bread as a base. I'll just whiz it up in the food processor. Some onion, some gorgeous mature cheese. You can replace um, mature cheddar with any other sharp cheese that you like, and anything that's good for cooking with. You'll need some salt, you'll need some pepper. I've got, I'm just adding a bit of thyme and a bit of sage to it. So um, I'll just chop all this up and we can get started. All right, as with the mushrooms, what I want to do first, well, let me just get the, the bread out of the way and get that into there. And then I'll just whiz that up off camera. Okay, that's just turned it into breadcrumbs. Now, into there goes all the stubs from these because we want the hole in the middle. So that just goes in there. And to, to, get, to, to get it, you push it one way and then the other. Spin it around and push it the other way. Then it comes out neat looking like that. So we need to do that now for all of them. So nothing gets wasted, the little stubs get to use for the stuffing. So once we've got them all prepared, I just need to chop up my onion. I'm just going to chop that up small enough to work in the food processor. So I just chop that up. I'm also using a little bit of garlic. I like to cut down there, give it a smash, peel it, use it. Simple as that, that can go away. And I'll need to grate up some of this cheese. Okay, now all that's done, I need to get some herbs into these first. So let me just get in a good old pinch of um, sage, a bit more, about the same of thyme, plenty of thyme, and some salt and pepper. I like lots of pepper, and a good pinch of salt. Because this is a force meat, the force meat rules apply. You season it and then over season it a little bit, all right, just to make sure it's got plenty of seasoning. All right, so now I'll give all that a whiz and get back to you. All right, we've got all that whizzed up, we'll get that out of the way. And into that, it, so we've got what's that, about a cup of cheese, a grated cheese. You want to put half of that into there because you know where the other half's going, don't you? You do. And the moisture from the onion and from the, the mushrooms itself is enough to bind this. And what we don't want you to do is, is compress this too much. A little bit, but not too much. You want to keep it short. So it, it does bind, but you don't want it to, you want it to still be nice and crummy like that. So uh, what I want to do first is I want to I want to take out the mushrooms one by one and fill them with the stuffing and you'll see why I do it that way. So you get a ball of stuffing, push it in and then take away the excess. All right, you do that with all of them. It's easy to do that actually over the bowl. As I've just found out to my cost. Meanwhile, you want your oven heating up to 180 degrees Celsius, which is about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The difference won't make a difference. And you stuff, carry on stuffing the mushrooms. Okay, at the end of that process you end up with stuffed mushrooms and an amount of stuffing left over. We don't waste that, that goes into the bottom of our tray and gets spread around. And that acts as a bed for the mushrooms. And then you sit your mushrooms back in. Then you get your cheese and you sprinkle that on top of everything. 
just your remaining cheese make sure everything gets a little dusting of it use it all up waste not want not and there you have it that's ready now to go into the oven like I said we bake that in the oven now at 180 degrees Celsius which is around 350 degrees Fahrenheit and that's going to bake for about 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll see where we are all right let's have a look at these stuffed mushrooms see how they turned out wow <laughs> they look good let's have a look super let's just adjust that so you can see it nicely and what happens is the mushrooms all the juice from the mushrooms get sucked into the stuffing and they're absolutely delicious so I'm going to serve that as a side now with some stir fried harissa lamb and some rice lovely If you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.